Well, you're you're a little distracted here by uh, this was crumble, right? Yes. Yes, okay. crumble. So we have uh, crumble and cupcake here, and Lisa from the Dane County Humane Society joining us here as well. Uh, Lisa, thanks so much for joining us. Oh. I mean, these these guys are so well behaved here, but uh, tell us a little bit more about them. So this is Cupcake in my arms right now. She's got more white than Crumble does. <laughs> they were among a transfer that we received just yesterday from mm. Mississippi. Total of about 20 puppies. Wow. So not all looking like these two, mm -hmm. but just as cuddly and sweet and cute <laughs> and all looking for new homes up here. They so are so sweet, yes. These two are two months old. <sighs> And they so. obviously, uh, I'm, I'm getting a, a couple breeds coming out of their coats. What, um, what is kind of the best guess of what breed they are? So they are guessing that they're a Collie Labrador Retriever okay. mix. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So it's feeling hard to fluffy. say how big they're going to get once okay. they're fully grown. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but they are so playful and so snuggly. Right. Yes, you are. Um, going to need some training. Okay, sure. I was going to ask. Yeah, I, anyone else kind of home preparations, <laughs> things like that. I know Blaze might be interested here. I, I've got two dogs <laughs> at home and two cats. I don't think I could, if even if I wanted to. Um, I Obviously, uh, being puppies, they've had a couple of accidents already, but uh, potty pads obviously are going to need to be a must if they adopt. And you were yeah. telling me that, uh, unfortunately, um, they were part of uh, a couple more. There was at least 20 dogs that you guys mm -hmm. took in. A total of 20 dogs, wow. different breeds though. Right. They're from a litter of four. Okay. So there are two more wow. um, that uh, are not currently available. Okay. But uh, these two are available and so are some of the other ones. They're okay. all going, undergoing, well, They've been undergoing uh, checkups after they got here with mm -hmm. our veterinarians, and they're also going to have to undergo some spay neuter surgery. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, they haven't had theirs yet, so mm. we're going to do that. <laughs> uh, but the nice thing is that their adoption fee includes all of those. Oh, perfect. They uh, uh, include the spay neuter, neuter sorry, neuter mm -hmm. surgery. Yep. They include their age appropriate vaccinations. Okay. Oh, perfect. Uh, microchipping. Uh, and then for some of the older dogs, if uh, they're old enough to be mm -hmm. checked for heartworm, mm -hmm. uh, flea and tick treatments, so, uh, and any other uh, things that they need. You gotta so. stop looking at me with those beautiful eyes crumble. They haven't barked <laughs> once, but no. I, I do want to know, and I know you want to speak on it a little bit, service day is coming up, coming up at the beginning of March, so what is this all about for people and how can uh, people get involved here? So we started a new program because we had some parents who were asking how could their kids get involved. Mm -hmm. uh, so we started holding service days. Mm -hmm. It's a, uh, a volunteer type of activity day that's going to be held this Mar uh, March 4th, which is Saturday, mm -hmm. next Saturday. Oh, perfect. And, perfect. Um, it starts at noon. You do okay. have to register ahead of time because it's $15 a person. It, it's for kids as well as their families can join. And they're doing an activity to help the shelter, whether that's filling Kong toys, so like these little guys mm. can have fun and <laughs> help uh, nourish their mind and mm -hmm. emotions. And then also uh, they can make rice socks for like our oh, kittens. Fun because uh, when they have surgery, we heat up the rice socks to warm them up okay. as they're coming out of surgery. Oh, interesting. So, uh, and they could also make little gift boxes and stuff okay. that some dogs love to tear into because they are they have fun with those packages. Ooh, they like sure to, thing. they're like a puzzle box. So, gotcha. Perfect. so gotcha. yeah, and then they get to hang out with our classroom animals and meet them and, a very fun day very all cool. around. Yeah. It is fun. So. And that's next Saturday. Next Saturday. Next Saturday. Register awesome. online at giveshelter.org. All Perfect. right. Thank you, Lisa. We'll have Thank all that you. information <laughs> on uh, our website, wkow.com, as well.